Time to know why. An object is thrown from a cliff at an angle to the horizontal. The information that a typical question provides to find the horizontal distance is shown on the right. For the vertical component, the height, vertical velocity, and the acceleration of free fall are known. For the horizontal component, horizontal velocity and the acceleration are known. Acceleration is zero since air resistance is negligible. We can use the speed equation to find the horizontal distance. However, we do not know the time it takes for the object to reach the ground. Time is usually not provided in a question. The time can be calculated using the values of the vertical components and the equation given in the data booklet. Now that we know the time taken, we can calculate the horizontal distance. To conclude, to determine the horizontal distance, we need to know the height of the cliff, the initial angle between the velocity of the object and the horizontal, and the horizontal component of the initial velocity of the object. Good luck!